one. In this session, I'm going to show you how to create a simple and effective task management system. There is a lot of uh, project management software out there, but there is always a situation when task tracking and reporting is required. For example, we need to submit timesheets for some reason, uh, and the timesheet software that we use is not convenient to use every day, or doesn't exist, um, and the only thing that we have is to produce some form of Excel spreadsheet at the end of the week, or enter our timesheet into some external system. Or, uh, our company has got licenses for a few people to use some fancy project software, uh, but you uh, only have got, for example, Office 365 um, and uh, would like to enhance your business process and manage your tasks in a splendid way. So uh, what we can do um, is uh, creating a list uh, in SharePoint Online and customize it to get the task management function working according to our requirements. Okay, what we can do is um, we go to the SharePoint site, um, which will be SharePoint Online in this case, uh, and we create um, a new app. So make sure there is a tasks template by default, but don't select this one because the interface currently in the modern SharePoint is not that modern and we won't get all the nice new features that uh, SharePoint on Online provides for a modern interface. So instead we select Issue Tracking, uh, get a name, let's say, let's call it User Tasks for now, and Create. So you see, we've got our user tasks list. <coughs> so what we've got here already is some form of metadata to track our tasks, which is title, um, don't um, draw too much attention to the issue ID here. So assign to, status, priority, due date. That's what we can start working with at the moment. So what we do first, um, we need to customize it and um, we will go here and go to list settings and there is a metadata columns, right? So first of all, what we're going to do is we need to change the column name to status. And yeah, we'll leave the values as is here. We probably don't need related issues. Yeah, we, we will leave it like this for now. Assign to status, priority, high, normal, low. That's fine, we'll leave it like this. What we uh, may need to have in the real uh, time scenario is that um, we may need to um, categorize these tasks by project. So for this, we add a new column called project. And for now, we leave it as the single line of text. I will show you how it can be used later. Then we create another column, which is um, hours, where we can calculate the, or not the calculate, but specify the number of hours that is required or spent. So, but for this example, we don't make it too complex. So I just put whatever time was spent. So we will call it hours spent. <coughs> All right.
Okay, so let's see what we've got. So we've got all these uh, new columns added here. So projects and hours spent. And we can try and add new task. Let's say prepare proposal document. Who is it is assigned to that will be assigned to this person status is active we'll put high priority we can put description or some other things category here just leave it as is enter a due date which is twenty sixth of June and project for now we just include some form of uh, project code but it can be a name of the project doesn't matter let's say we have a project that we are working on and for now let's say two four hours save right so we have a new task created. In the same manner, we can create other task as well. All right, so let's say we added um, a few more tasks here. It can be a very big, long list. Um, and let's say, oh, I've forgotten to add some piece of um, metadata here. So for example, I've forgotten to provide the project code for this task. So I just click here on the name and where the project, I just add the value. One. So system just saving this particular value, that's it. And updates there. Or the due date here. I've forgotten to provide the due date. We can make some metadata mandatory as well, but for the purpose of uh, this demo, I just make it quite flexible, <coughs> right? So here, um, I've already got a repository for my tasks. I can assign tasks to people. If I hover over the person's name, I can get the details, I can get the phone number, I can quickly contact someone. I can see the even the LinkedIn profile, if there is any. So this is already quite effective by itself. A couple of things I want to point out straight away. So out of the box here, without any additional custom development or custom application, I can set up um, some automation on this list. So for example, I, I can it, it identifies the date columns in my list and it allows me to set a reminder for a certain amount of days in advance before the date happens here. This is quite handy. Or also we can do, uh, we can export this list to Excel and then analyze the data in Excel, um, massage it, create charts, create um, graphs, and then send it to some other repository or send it for reporting purposes somewhere else. Now, in order to um, use the system more efficiently, I would like to create some views on this data or even modify this one to give me some more information in here. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to group those tasks by project and then show me the total of the hours spent for all the tasks in this project. So I'm going here and um, I click edit current view There is a group by section, 
and I'm choosing the project column. So this is my first grouping. Then I can group by other column as well. So for example, I can group by person. And then there is totals section and I say hours spent, I want to do sum. Now what happens is, as you see straight away, I can see for different projects, summary of hours spent for this particular project. Let's change the, let's say we do another project. You can see automatically the grouping changed. And it's obvious that, for example, that we've got the subtotals as well. All right, so there was um, just a start. And um, as you can see, what uh, Microsoft Platform gives us, or Power Platform, we can customize this using um, Power Apps. So we can create an app for task entry, which can enhance our task entry even more. Then we've got Power Automate. So we can create a flow that could use this information and integrate with other systems if required. So I can set various reminders. I can output this data into some other system as well. So what we've, what we've seen here is that in about 10 minutes or less, the system to effectively manage tasks was created. Okay. So um, this, yeah, this example can be used and um, enhanced even further. And um, enjoy creating tasks and managing your new task system in SharePoint Online. And stay tuned for more videos on this channel. Goodbye.